look at how busy these bees are. So we're going to have a little bit of a cutout situation to do today and it might get a little messy and it might get uh, the bees a little angry. So I'm going to make sure that I put my veil on and we're going to have to do something a little on the funky side. Ow. Ooh. Ooh, they're not happy. Now this is unbelievable. This weighs a ton. There's so much honey in here. This, they're capping the honey and it is filled with honey all the way to the edges. This will be capped in no time. Don't want to sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I think of you and all the shit you don't do. Well, I'm a Hey everybody, this is Brent with Beekeeping in Paradise. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you being here. And today I have a lot of work to do. Um, I need to go through these hives. Welcome back to the terrace, by the way. And look at how busy these bees are. But, uh, so I think that what is going on is that this is a new hatch of uh, bees who are just starting to come out and get oriented. Uh, I, think this is, I think these are orientation flights and it's pretty interesting, but I have a lot of work to do. You may notice that there are now four boxes on this hive. In my last video, I showed you this hive. This was the queenless hive. It is now completely empty, okay? This is a different box. The only reason that this is even still here is I was uh, I took the box that was here that had honey and pollen in it and maybe a hundred bees left and I put it on top over here so this is what that's where the fourth box came from and uh, um, then uh, so they they might you know they integrated and became one hive what what I really want to do is because we are getting very there has been a honey flow on for the past couple of weeks uh, mango trees uh, malungai trees several others have all been in high bloom and the nectar has been coming in by the bucket load and these bees have been working all day every day and we have had absolutely perfect weather we've had almost no rain in the past two three weeks um, just an occasional sprinkle but uh, what the last time I went through here what I found was there was a mixture of brood and honey in here brood and honey in here and the queen had not moved up to the third box so this what they were starting to store honey in here but I haven't been through these in almost a week so I want to and this was just pollen and nectar uh, and they were starting to dry it and turn it into honey so, you can see that the bees have come all the way up they're in the top box let's go through this kind of frame by frame and see what we're looking at this frame has some weight to it it's about on this side about 50% um, filled out. This one is about 75% filled with nectar and they are capping that. You can see they cap it very slowly. This 
this is where things start to get interesting. I need as much room in here as I can get. And I have to be very careful looking for my queen. She's going to be in here somewhere. Now this is unbelievable. This weighs a ton. There's so much honey in here. This They're capping the honey and it is filled with honey all the way to the edges. This will be capped in no time. There is an empty space and that's filled with fruit. So the queen has been on here and she laid in the middle. So we won't be able to harvest this for at least 21 days because we'll have babies on there. You don't want to make your babies dizzy putting them in an extractor. Look at all the brood. There are thousands of bees about to be born and the top is anywhere they had room, they put nectar. All the open spaces where the bees have emerged, they've backfilled with nectar. And this side, is exactly the same. Look at all that root. Tiny, tiny little bit of emerging brood, but this is all honey down here. And There's one clean cup. It's empty. There's no, uh, um, there's no egg inside right on the edge there. And if I can get this in the shot, I will uh, zoom in on it. I tore it open a little bit just to see if there was an egg inside. All right. So. There is a lot of honey in here. It's not, it's not really condensed where I'd like it. More progress in this deep box. We'll put this one on first. Give them shorter distance to walk. And we'll put that one up there. Okay, well, so much for continuity. You can see there's a uh, been a wardrobe change. It is the next day. And uh, as soon as I finished going through this hive over here yesterday, I looked at the clock and it was time to go pick up Shelby. So time got away from me. So this is the messy part. 
It's the other hive over here. I was trying to be cute and I took a deep, uh, a deep frame from here and I moved it up to here and I left the space below because the bees just weren't, when I did that, the bees just were not making a whole bunch of wax and I wanted to see, it's a good test uh, to see if there's uh, any kind of honey flow on because if there's honey flow, they're gonna make wax. So I moved it and almost immediately, wow, they started to make wax under the frame uh, like I had shown in a previous video. And that was great until I went and checked on it and they had attached the wax that they the new wax to the sidewall and it broke so we're gonna have a little bit of a cutout situation to do today and it might get a little messy and it might get uh, the bees a little angry so I'm gonna make sure that I put my veil on and we're gonna have to do something a little on the funky side so, okay so you can see I've got four boxes on here. This top box has absolutely nothing. Uh, it's got five frames with starter strips. I can eliminate that right now. We don't need to even look at it or pull anything out. It's just flat empty. So you can see right up here, it's busy and look at how fat that third frame is you can see all the wax that they've built out it is absolutely thick and that is all honey the last time i checked so and this is the one that i got cute with and i put this deep up in this medium box and let it hang with a with a void below it um and i probably shouldn't have done that because now i've got extra work to do but what i'm going to do to uh, remedy that is I'm going to take because it's occupying this box and it's occupying all of this box I'm going to rotate this box sideways and I'm going to take a bread knife and I'm going to run the bread bread knife up and down the walls and make sure that it's uh, not attached now a chunk might fall out uh, because it was broken before but then again it might not because they may have repaired it so this is where things are going to get interesting. frame they haven't started capping it but it is 100% honey on that side and they're drawing this side out real well and they've got honey off to this side so that's looking real good I'm gonna set this one aside too because I need some extra room in here to pull this frame excuse me Pretty sure that piece is still broken down there. This is really stuck. Yeah. Look at what we've got here. Yeah, we lost a little corner down there. And we've got a whole sheet of brood. Okay. on the bottom with some honey and there are, are there is some drone comb and what I was saying before is I don't know if you can see these extra large cells here that's drone brood about to hatch it's K 
tapped over. didn't work out so well. I took about three stings to the arm. They were not pleased with my behavior. Uh, I may have taken four, but I still have a lot of bees on here. They were not happy about being brushed. So well, we got them off of one side. been more gracefully done. started trying to remove what's left down there. This will be interesting. We have a honey frame here. Honey and brood over here. Solid sheet of brood. Another solid sheet of brood on this side but with a honey band on top. Okay, now the tricky bit. Let's take out one more frame whole box cleaned up. Trying to be careful for the queen. I have a lot of brood and honey. Carefully. 
do have some larvae in here. getting a little lumpy. Hey, we've got mostly brood, a little bit of honey on here. So we'll start putting this box back together. Cut out wax with all the larvae on it is up here in the third box. So here's here's our cutout frame, and uh, uh, yeah. So I might thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another frame and put the rest of that wax that I had salvaged, that I had cut off, I'll put it in another frame and I'll put it in this top box over here. And then, of course, shake these bees back. off and we'll close them up and that's it so that hive is back to normal and uh, I, I still have stingers in my arm I think about three but it it only pinches for a second but uh, it's okay I hope you enjoyed the video uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me get stung um, it doesn't happen all the time and it was quite frankly my own fault but uh, you know you have to do what you have to do in beekeeping you know when you've got a unique situation you just have to fix it and move on so I uh, had a good time I'm glad you were with me thanks for watching and uh, next time we're gonna be getting closer to uh, a hunting season so uh, we've got some frames that uh, the brood is emerging and the bees are back filling with nectar right away and once they have a chance to get it cured and capped uh, that honey will be ready for harvest and hopefully we'll have about Maybe we'll have about 10 frames or so a couple of boxes worth and at that point We're gonna pull it and uh, we're gonna bottle it. So stick with me and uh, keep on watching I appreciate it. So until next time remember I'm Brent. This is beekeeping in paradise Reminding you wherever you are in the world if you've got bees then you are definitely beekeeping in paradise. Be well be safe
Be kind. God bless. I love y'all.